You know, the House, uh, I think, has made uh, some very good progress uh, today. Uh, they passed out of uh, the House Ways and Means Committee, they passed uh, at least five uh, bills that uh, created some uh, new revenue for the state uh, that will help us support the general fund. Now, uh, this amount of money, though, I do not believe will be adequate to uh, properly fund our budget, but it's a step in the right direction, and uh, I just I want to commend the House for what they've done today. Uh, we're probably about $85 million short, uh, and uh, if, if this gap is not closed, uh, then they will be closing down uh, uh, some facilities in the state. Uh, but we'll wait and see what happens uh, after this passes, and of course we'll wait and see what the Senate does. But again, let me say, uh, I, I'm very uh, appreciative of what the House has done thus far. All right, I'm going to open it up for questions. $85 million you would suggest from where? Well, they're going to have to come up with some more revenue from some source. Uh, and, and we'll just have to wait and see what that revenue is. You said some state agencies or some state agencies. Yeah, uh, many of the agencies will be affected, uh, and, and I'm not going to name those yet. Uh, and we'll just have to wait and see what the final budget looks like. And we'll probably know that. Uh, they may pass that tomorrow. Well, you know, we have to have a budget. Uh, I, I don't think the people of the state of Alabama want their uh, essential services cut. Uh, they don't want parks closed. They, they don't want, uh, uh, you know, facilities across the, the state closed like... Uh, you know, our National Guard facilities and things of this nature. And uh, so they don't want them closed, uh, and, and, and certainly they're going to be disappointed. Uh, you know, our driver's license uh, uh, facilities all around the state, uh, those are things that uh, people expect to be open. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see what the final uh, the budget looks like. Well, the Senate uh, hasn't gotten it yet, and they really haven't had to do anything yet. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, uh, you know, what the Senate does. Uh, I, I'm, not in, I, I'm not encouraged that the Senate will pass a lot more than the House does. Well, with this budget that we have right now, this is not a long-term solution. Uh, what we're doing right now is, is just uh, filling the hole, uh, and we're doing the same thing we've done for the last 70 years, and which is disappointing. But we do have to have a budget, and, uh, and so we'll just have to wait and see what comes out of that. And again, let me say, I appreciate what the House has done thus far. Well, you know, I, I left it uh, fairly open-ended for them. Uh, when I put the call in, uh, any revenue uh, uh, that can be produced to support the general fund, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very much for that. Uh, so I, I think that uh, that's something that they will have to do. But, you know, the, the door is open. They, they, can, uh, they can propose other uh, revenue measures. I don't think that they will allow me the time to do that. I think that they will uh, extend the time out uh, and probably uh, uh, recess uh, in order to come back and if I vetoed the budget, override my veto. Oh, after that, uh, well, well, yeah, we'll have to make that decision later, yes, uh, it, to, to, uh, to possibly consider some supplementals. Uh, for the budget, we'll have to we'll have to make a decision on that later. Yes. One last question. Well, I think that uh, if we adequately fund the general fund, I'm willing to look at almost any measure. Uh, but. We have to fundamentally change the way we budget, and I guess that's, that is fundamentally changing the way we budget. Uh, 
Now, I don't think uh, education is going to be very happy with that, and I doubt seriously that's going to pass. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank you, guys.